Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society reporting from the climate conference here in Porto, Portugal and I'm talking with Ralph Schmidt from Switzerland and Ralph you had an interesting story earlier you said you were not really associated with the climate issue but something happened and you got interested what was that? I think it was a special event, it was privately in the family, you get discussions about climate. Okay, I also already told eventually before, I don't believe in the climate history, there's much more, there's water vapor, not only CO2 without um, digging into it. So I just expressed my belief, it cannot be all. And then my um, daughter told me, oh, you're a climate denier, smiling, it was not serious, but it was me, it was, as I'm a scientist, I was a, I'm a chemist, it was hurting my inner things because I'm honest. So I was saying, okay, I don't take this offense, I will now learn more about it, and I checked internet, etc., everything, and then the next occasion was discussing with the um, friend, the boyfriend of my daughter, and it was a lengthy discussion. We, we bounced forth and back, but it was not possible to convince or convey the message and it, it, is, it was yeah, difficult to yeah, bring over the message and yeah it's and I thought okay I need to continue my own way I need to meet the people like me that means thinking similarly and learning more of them so that I can later on maybe be stronger in discussions, also more convincing, because it's just a private topic. You are not an expert in that. And, and so uh, you are a scientist. How many years did you study? I was doing PhD in chemistry, so five years until the German diploma, which is nowadays a master's degree, and then three, three years in PhD work. And it was an environmental issue. Of gas cleaning, desulfurization, denitrification of power plants of gas. That was in the late 80s. I was also working for Volkswagen, um, indirectly cleaning the diesel engine of gases by the urea. So I'm deeply um, yeah, not interested in the natural and the climate story. And I was maybe like my daughter 10 years ago when I was in the UK at a conference and somebody told about maybe leaking mails and the whole topic about global warming is just bullshit. I said, come on, CO2 is warming. So I was just the same. So it takes time. And I think um, we also need to um, give the people time to sort out all the information they obtain. And I have hope because I can, with my age, still live 30 years and I will see whether this ice age, which will, shall come, is now bullshit or not. So, so and that's, that's, that's what I'm interested in. And when it's coming, then I say, okay, it was right. And when there would be now another hockey stick, okay, then I was wrong. Okay, well, thank you very much, Ralph. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling reporting from the Porto Climate Conference.